joining us here live and for those of you who are out there streaming wherever you might be, thank you as well. Um, that's Russ Johnson on the trumpet. Russ Johnson. <laughs> Scott Hesse on the guitar. Clark Summers on the bass. And Dana Hall on the drums. Yeah. We started off with something there by Herbie Hancock called Promise of the Sun from his uh, album The Prisoner, which is all dedicated to Martin Luther King Jr. and that he's supposed to represent hope in times of great challenge. Um, we're gonna continue now with something newer of mine. This is called Five and Three.
Plucky, which is meant both literally and figuratively. Uh, you can ask me why later. I don't think I can tell the story over the ethernet. She'll live forever on YouTube. Uh, we're going to continue with something now uh, that my apologies to all my Brazilian friends. I'm going to butcher the Portuguese for. Uh, but it's called Now Fajmal, which means something like it's cool, or c'est uh, dommage, or that's too bad, depending on how it's said, I think. <laughs> Until it's not. And then it's too bad, c'est dommage.
This next place piece we're going to play is inspired by a place uh, in Dallas, a neighborhood that has long since, like many neighborhoods like it, been gentrified and is very different than what it was back in the 20s or 30s. But uh, this neighborhood in Dallas, Texas, I'm from Houston, so you know, close to home, uh, Deep Elm, which is a corruption of a street down there, Deep Elm or Elm Street, so the neighbor is called Deep Elm. It was the place back in the day where you would go to see all of the great blues and jazz players, Ma Rainey, Bessie Smith, Lead Belly, Lion Lemon Jefferson, all of these folks who went through Texas at one time or the other on their, their touring routes or in fact lived there in some cases. And uh, so this is a tribute to that historic neighborhood in Dallas and it's called Deep Ellum. <laughs> Thank you. 
next piece uh, is something that I wrote that was um, inspired by a line in a Thomas Pynchon book, which I still haven't finished, um, which can go in the stack of Thomas Pynchon books that I've never finished. <laughs> and, uh, but it's a great book. Um, against the day and there's there's one moment in it where one of the where like the ending of a chapter the last sentence is night began as if declared which is the title of this piece but the thing that it made me think of was actually uh, you know uh, BP before pandemic a few years there was an eclipse right complete solar eclipse and I had the good fortune to be watching it out on my wife's family farm in the middle of nowhere, Missouri. It's actually a town called Americus, which tells you how far from civilization it is. Um, and of course, it's totally dark out there once the sun goes out. And the amazing thing is, of course, we all expect it to be totally dark. That's what happens in an eclipse, right? But the sort of side effects that you maybe don't imagine, unless you're more scientifically minded than I am, are that all of a sudden, all of the wildlife thinks it's nighttime, too. So the owls come out and the night insects and night, other night birds and things like that. And really, it was like, as the moon passed in front of the sun, that night began as if declared. So I hope you enjoy this.
Thank you so much. And once again for joining us here tonight. We're really happy to have real life humans to play for. It's you know it's a really welcome change, <laughs> and uh, I just don't get tired of it really. We have one more for you. Uh, this last piece is called Quaver. And before we get to that, uh, brief thank you to Constellation and Mike Reed and all the folks here running sound and video and so on, making this possible. Uh, it's uh, really always a joy to play here and to feel so well taken care of and respected as a musician. I can't say that for every venue around. Um, it's a wonderful place. And uh, also, if you would like to take some semblance of us home with you in a form that requires less care and feeding, there are records and CDs right outside. Um, and before we go, on the trumpet, Russ Johnson. That's Dana Hall on the drums. Clark Summers on the bass. Scott Hesse on the guitar. Yours truly, Jeff Bradfield on saxophone.
That's all we know. <laughs>